Hi guys, welcome back. For today's video, my sister and I decided to rank Christmas classics. Obviously, we had to choose movies that both of us have watched. So I have watched a lot more Christmas movies than Sigil has. But she different genres for yes, both of us. Yes. No, 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 not the genres. Like she obviously wouldn't have watched like all the more. I, Oh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we did. <laughs> we had to choose movies that both of us have watched, even though I've watched a lot more Christmas movies that would have probably made it onto this list. Sigil hasn't. So we have 11 different movies. I'm going to name them. If there are multiple movies, we just said it is the franchise and we're ranking the franchise overall. And we're going to rank them from 1 to 11. Although, disclaimer, we love all of these movies. It's just... You know, sometimes they can be your One least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There. So the first one is, gosh, whether you are eighty or whether you are five, you would have had to. <laughs> you would have watched the Home Alone franchise. I absolutely love Home Alone. I'm I pretty, relate to McCurdy Culkin in that movie so much. They cause... both are just um, mischievous to say the least but anyway we loved both the movies i'm pretty sure home alone was actually like the first christmas movie sajra and i watched in our memory i don't know if it's the same with i'm sure it's the same with you first was the grinch let's be honest okay actually yeah it was the grinch but i mean home alone is like right up there <laughs> so mm, so we can like move it around if we feel that you know we want to put it so mm. where would you put home alone side like the franchise so for now, I mean, are we able to move it like Yeah, yeah we're okay. allowed to move it around as we go on. For now, I'm just going to put it third. Third. Yeah. Okay. So for me, uh, yo, this is actually really hard. Okay, I'll put it at two because I definitely know it's going to be in my top three because I absolutely... I absolutely Ash. Absolutely, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the screw. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put it at number two. So if you haven't watched Home Alone, I mean, what kind of rock are you living under? So if you haven't already, please go and watch Home Alone. It's with Macaulay Culkin about a boy who's unfortunately left at home on Christmas. He gets left behind because he comes from like a huge family. Anyway, these thugs are after him and he just does a whole lot of funny things. And he thinks he like, because he wished away his family. Shame. Yeah, shame. He's a, he, he was scarred. He was scarred for the movie. <laughs> but it's super, super funny and such a feel-good holiday movie. The second one is the Christmas Prince franchise. I know that this franchise... It's still a bit cringe, but it wasn't as cringy as some... Um, Oh, sorry, don't be rude. I mean, I love any Christmas movie, no matter how cringy it is, because I feel like that's the I whole can't holiday watch, I cannot, I get so sick of watching. We wa I know, like, we watched one on Sunday. Five minutes in, I predicted the whole plot, and it ended the way that I told Yeah, but that's the whole thing about Christmas movies. You know it's going to have a feel-good ending. I mean, most people's favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. I mean... How would it, like, I've never watched it, but I already know what happens in the movie. The guy will probably realize it is a wonderful life that he has. But either way, <laughs> they're very predictable, but I think that's where the joy comes in because it's just feel-good movie. It doesn't have to be, you know, like, like a whole spin off a movie to keep you interested. You just watch it because it's a feel-good movie. The Christmas Prince franchise was among those movies it's fairly new but Sigil I and my mom absolutely loved this franchise no matter how cringe it was each year we kept on waiting until the next one came out I think there's three I, <laughs> I think there's three in the franchise and we've loved every single one of them so Sai where would you rank the seven. Christmas uh, I was gonna rank it seven mm. but because I'm gonna rank it five. You can say it out loud. Say, yeah, say it out loud. <laughs> okay, so Sigil is going to do the Christmas Prince franchise as number five. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, just disclaimer, Prince. we can move these around. Yeah. So I'm going to put Christmas Prince franchise probably as like seventh, just because I already obviously know what's on the list and I can see there's ones that are going to probably be a bit above that. But the Christmas Prince franchise if you haven't watched it it's a netflix original i'm pretty sure that's netflix about original. <laughs> that's about this journalist who goes to 
I don't know, she goes to write a story on one of the princes in Ma some Mal 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 Maldovia, Mal something. yeah, Maldovia, something like that, and obviously things happen. And yeah, this is a beautiful rom-com, again, feel-good Christmas movie. Third one is one that is very well known and it's also a classic, but I actually think I only watched this about two or three years ago, despite being a huge fan of Jamie Lee Curtis. It's Christmas with the Cranks. If you haven't watched Christmas... Wait, I think we did watch this, but I... Because I, I, I think we remember, remember them. I remember some bits, but I think we, rem we watched it when we were younger. Most probably, but like, but, like I couldn't vaguely remember. remember. Yeah, like, but, like, yeah. You know, usually when you watch like Christmas movies, you immediately remember it. And I didn't remember Christmas with the Cranks until I think like my mom was talking about it or something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I need to watch that because I love Jamie Lee Curtis. I think I've watched probably every single movie of her, every single movie of or hers. series or series. Sigil knows I'm a huge fan of Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't think you have only one, huh? Okay, yeah, Sigil is as well. She is as well. But anyway, Christmas with the Cranks, if you haven't watched it, it's about this couple that comes, that's like in a very Christmas frenzy loving neighborhood and they decide to actually boycott Christmas, no decorations and everything no. in order to go on a Caribbean <laughs> cruise. And it kind of just shows how they manage or don't manage to boycott Christmas and like it, yeah, it's just super funny. So that is Christmas with the Cranks. If you're contemplating boycotting Christmas because of like you know you just want to do something different or whatever, definitely go and give this movie a watch. Anyway, how would you rank Christmas with the Cranks? I'll give that to five. Five? Yeah. Okay, so then must I move that one to six? I would put Christmas with the Cranks as like because I, I like the like I mean yeah I love Christmas but I like that it was a different kind of a Christmas yeah. movie that it wasn't the classic oh holly jolly ha ha it was yeah, something, it was something different. different yes that, it, that is very true and usually like also I feel Christmas movies are always dedicated more towards the youth or like how the youth like falls in love with on their dad so it was really nice to see how the older generation you know handled Christmas Get sick of Christmas yeah <laughs> so anyway next one is this is also like if you haven't watched this movie like also what Jim rock Carrey. what rock are you living under it is dr zeus's how the grinch stole christmas sigil and i <laughs> are huge fans of jim carrey wait we wait, wait where are you <laughs> christmas where can I find you? Actually, when Sidel was younger, I would like pull up her nose, but I'm not going to do that now. Cindy Lou. And uh, she would look like Cindy Lou from there. If you haven't watched it, go and see it, and you'd know who's what Sidel used to look like. Yeah, I'm not going to embarrass on my YouTube channel, but um, yeah, we're huge fans of Jim Carrey and Christmas. How the Grinch stole Christmas is a movie that every single person can enjoy, no matter how old you are. And I feel like it will never, ever go stale. And I watched a, it last Christmas, twice. Sigh and I watch it every Christmas without fail. That and Home Alone. Yeah. It's like, uh, like as long as we watch those two, we will feel so in the Christmas spirit and whatever. But anyway, <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas was such a good movie as well. Sai, how would you rank it? One. <laughs> Yo, guys, this is really, really... Oh, gosh. Oh my god, The Grinch and Home Alone are like neck and neck for me. And I put Home Alone as like my second thing in case. Okay, so I'm going to put Grinch as second next to Home Alone and see any, if anything tops that. But I love The Grinch. If you don't know what The Grinch is about, it's basically, it's just an alternate universe, let's put it that way. And Christmas is like a huge thing. And basically, shame, The Grinch is like this mutated, mutated? like specimen and he's obviously shunned by society as society always is they always pick on the people that don't fit in or that are not normal and it just shows how he ended up hating christmas and how the town kind of deals with him and things like that so that is like i just love the grinch it's such a cute funny love jim carrey yeah and yeah i mean well how can you not love jim carrey if you don't love jim carrey i mean like 
Do you even have a funny bone? That's, that's like, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, the next one is The Holiday with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet from Kate Winslet, Tide Jack Titanic. Uh, yeah. Sigo, do you want to say what The Holiday is about? Yes. Okay, so Kate Winslet is bored in her life and she goes online and she looks at houses and she finds Cameron Diaz's house and they swap lives and then they just live each other's lives for a while so and then they live each other's lives for a while and then they see how different each other's lives are and then they um, just see how different each other's perspective of life is. The rest is for you to live up to yourself. Yes. So where would you rank the holiday? Four. Four? No. Because it's supposed to go down again to seven. <laughs> okay, the Christmas and Franchise Society is going down to number seven and she <laughs> wants the holiday as six, number six um the holiday is nice like i still enjoyed it but i don't think it's like high up on my list so i am going to put it as i'm going to put it as eight i mean it's still a really good movie but it's like if i'm looking for a holiday movie i'm not gonna it's that's like not going to be the first one that comes to my mind so next one is for Christmases. This with, one is such a funny. Really and yeah, <laughs> I, we also again really like um, Reese with a spoon. This one was hilarious. Do you want to explain it? You can explain okay. it for Christmases. So, for Christmases. Now, technically, well, not technically. This is reality. Both their families are divorced, and they have to spend it with each family. So they go. And have four Christmases to spend it with each family in time. And with each, like each of their parents. E yeah, each yeah. of their parents. Now, each of their parents has their own baggage and everything. So there's each is chaos and full of comedy and everything. And there's just a bunch of heartfelt messages and love and you know, just, yeah, just everything. It's like it's like a mixed bag of everything. In yeah. it. It's really, really funny. So Sai, where would you rank four Christmases? I'll put that at 8 because it's also not something I jump for but I really love okay. that movie I really really love Four Holidays it's also Wait, one of my favourites let's just see what else is I mean there. Four Christmases no yeah I could put that at 4 okay huh? I could put it at 4 okay so Sai wants Four Christmases to go number 4 I will also put Four Christmases at number 4 because I really do enjoy it and it's also a holiday go-to for me. The next one is Happiest Season. This is also a fairly new <sighs> movie or holiday series but Satan, I absolutely adored the story behind it. I don't just adore the story. Okay, yeah. Kristen Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, Kristen Stewart is, yeah, she's, she's we really, my woman crush. Like We both really love Kristen Stewart. And um, it's an LGBTQ movie, so that just brought a whole new dynamic to it. But also, not in a way that you would think. Like, you know, sometimes LGBTQ plus community movies are always overdone sometimes to make it, you know, a point that, you know, they're gay or they're bi and this is how it is. But this was done in such a tasteful way. Like any other holiday classic, the only difference being that the two leads are gay and that they're both females, which is also really cool because usually it's always about a man and a woman. So this is also a, like both leads were female and it was obviously about this an LGBTQ couple. This also includes Aubrey Plaza. So basically it's about the couple who's going to spend time with one of the girlfriend, one of the partner's family, but that partner hasn't told her family that she's gay. And it basically deals with the whole dynamic of that. But also, it's not overly done. Like, you know, it's not made into something that is like, I don't know how to put it, but cartoonish. Like, it's done in a very tasteful way. So, it's so portrayed to... more realistically. Yes, realistically. Not, like, in some shows, they overly portray it. That doesn't seem too realistically. Like, they're trying too hard. Too hard to portray that they part of the LGBTQ doesn't feel authentic. Authentic that it's like someone really talking about being part of the LGBTQ. Yes. So size and I really loved it. Sai, where would you rank it? The happiest season. Oh, it's Two. on Netflix by the way. Two, because of Christmas do it. Okay. For me, I still loved it, but I am going to probably put it at number five. Because I still loved it, but 
definitely not in my like top three even though i love it so much the next one is almost christmas okay almost christmas is basically about a family that has unfortunately lost their the mother of the family and it just shows how everyone kind of comes to terms with that secrets are obviously also unraveled and also how the father of the family deals with this huge loss in his life and how his children try to make up for it but obviously there's a whole lot of commotion and, and things like, that happen there's like four daughters so you know usually like with a big family the siblings always try to like go at it and you know yeah they're always like competing and everything like that so it was a super funny movie so Sai, where would you rank oh and danny glover acts as the father okay so Sai, where would you put almost christmas eight nine nine mm. almost christmas is going to be side with number nine i'll also put almost christmas as number nine the next one is elf with will ferrell where he's <laughs> an elf that's like somehow I, I actually kind of forgot a little bit but he like comes into the real world and he's like overly zesty and but he's not like just, joyous and he, things like he's that he's not just come into the real world he is he is he's larger than real elves but he has come into the world to find his real father because he is partly not he, an actual elf. elf. Yeah, so he comes to find out like that whole thing. And in find, trying to find his father, obviously, a whole lot of trouble and butting up heads and chaos. Yeah, it is all just like comes on with Will Ferrell. You guys know his movies are always so crazy all over the place. So, Sai, how would you rank it? Elf. Elf could be. Elf could be in ten. Okay, so I was going to put Alf in number ten. Like it's a it's a classic, but I wouldn't like jump to go watch it. Yeah. Like I feel the exact same way, but I will put it last <laughs> because like there's only so much of that, like so much that I can like endure and actually enjoy before it kind of gets annoying after a while. But it's still a really, really, really good movie, you guys. The amount of trouble we had trying to get this camera back again because I ran out of space, so I had to go and delete stuff. But yeah, my camera stand just was not cooperating. <laughs> but anyway, let's move swiftly along. <laughs> so we have two more movies left. The next one is the Santa Claus franchise with Tim Allen as well from what was it? Christmas with the Clowns. <laughs> 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 I don't want to explain it for you. Santa Claus comes. <laughs> Tim Allen's house, guys, and he thinks that there's well, Tim Allen thinks there's a burglar coming through his roof, so he comes out like side and he sees that there's someone on his roof and he knocks him out. And he, Santa Claus falls from the roof, and then he sees that it's Santa Claus and he gets shocked. But when he turns back, Santa Claus disappears, and now he takes on the role of being Santa Claus and stuff like that. And well you know he adjusts to life and he has to keep now the secret from being of being santa claus from his son and he now like filling the responsibilities he leaves responsibilities of being uh, of being a father and now oh yeah he's divorced from his wife he relieves responsibilities of that and the rest is for you guys to figure out when once you watch the movie yeah so anyway <laughs> after that very long explanation where would you rank the Santa Claus franchise? Well, considering I only have two spaces left. Hmm, okay. This is actually very difficult now because we're nearing the end. Okay, I'll also put the Santa Claus series as 10. Just because I really enjoyed the first movies, but then the second and third one became a bit like repetitive i would mm. say but i still really enjoyed the series more than the owl the only thing the second so, one, oh never mind i was on spoil never mind title's mm. very bad at spoilers and your, tom holland guys your, your, like <laughs> uh so i times like when she tells me to watch a series and then i finally give in and i'll watch it with her at every turn she'll be like oh kira keep 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 attention something interesting gonna happen obviously with the build up you know what's going to happen it's very frustrating only with sons in as of recently i'm not only only uh, now the next one is going to be a medea's christmas Saja and i love, love medea. medea like she's so funny and, love you boo yeah <laughs> we love all of the movies in the whole 
franchise. But the Medea Christmas basically is about Sykes will actually take it over. Okay, so Medea has a Medea has a niece, Babel has a niece that uh, got married to secretly got married to a white guy and they live far away from her actual family and they have for a while so obviously her family doesn't know and her mother always wants her to be the best at everything and all that and she decides to surprise her for Christmas and they, just by saying that you can already know that 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 is going to be yes her mother's racist kind of yes thing. and at the same time her husband's family is also going to come see them and that also just piles on more drama and I just 100% recommend you to watch this I mean, movie. what kind of Medea movie would it be without the family having some sort of quarrels or disagreements <laughs> or whatever? So it's super, super funny. If you watch any of the Medea movies but you have not watched a Medea Christmas or a Medea Family Christmas, whatever the name is, definitely go and give it a watch. You will not be disappointed. So Sai, where would you rank it? Six is not that bad. So yeah, Medea. So I have two slots left because as you guys know, I put number two as both Home Alone franchise and Grinch. God, I cannot believe that I have to choose between them. Um, okay, let's start off with that Which first. one do you watch more? You need to know that. Okay, I, I just think that I can't bypass Home Alone, like the franchise. No, honestly, if you so were stuck on an island... I would watch Home Alone. Okay. Okay, so Home Alone I put as first. The Grinch is put in as, as second. Okay, I'm actually just going to put Medea as number three because I really do love the movie, like, a lot. I've watched it, like, over ten times. going to put up a template here showing how Sai and I ranked it. Sai, go through how you ranked everything. First, I got The Grinch. Second, I got Kristen's, I mean, Happiest <laughs> Season. Third, I got Home Alone franchise. Fourth, I got Four Christmases. Uh, fifth, I got Christmas with the Cranks. Sixth, I got Medea. Seven, I got Almost Christmas. Eight, I got Christmas Prince franchise. Nine, I got the Holiday. Tenth, I got the Santa Claus franchise thing. And eleventh, I got the Elf. Number one <laughs> is I got the Home Alone franchise. <laughs> Number two is The Grinch. Number three is Medea's Christmas or Medea's Family Christmas. Cannot remember the name properly. Number four is Four Christmases. Number five is Happiest Season. <laughs> Number six is Christmas with the Cranks. Number seven is the Christmas Prince franchise. Number eight is The Holiday. Number nine is Almost Christmas. Number ten, the Santa Claus franchise. And number eleven is Elf with Will Ferrell. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I actually like wanted to just do this with Sigel just as a fun activity for us at home. But I thought, why don't we put it on the internet for people to judge our choices? I'm just kidding. But this was super, super fun, and it made me get it made me get into such a Christmas mood. But I hope that you guys also partake in this video. Let me know what your ranks are down below, and also maybe throw in a bit of the Christmas movies that you like that maybe Sajal and I haven't seen or that we did not mention here. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week ahead, full of lots of love happiness light positivity and amazing christmas spirit like movies love you guys bye, bye. oh <laughs>